Thank you, Catherine. You know, I'm an old Grand Opera man myself. You are, Groucho? Yes, I once sang in La Boheme. Did you have a big role? Oh, I had about $400 saved up. <laughs> but that's all water over the dam now. And speaking of water, it reminds me of the sea. Ah, oh, how I love the sea. Night after night, I would walk the bridge of my ship and gaze up at the stars with ecstasy. And when ecstasy was seasick, I'd walk alone. <laughs> For six years, I sailed the seven seas, and then for seven years, I sailed the six seas. <laughs> Everyone knew the name of Marks, Captain Horatio Marks Blower. And there's three ships on the line, the Nina, the Pinter, and the Santa Fe. How I'm long have you been gate. in the Navy? <laughs> How long have you been in the Navy? A spy in back of me here. Why, what was that, Catherine? How long have you been in the Navy, Catherine? Including the last remark? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, man and boy, I've been at the sea 40 years now. 40 years? They used to say 40 years, but they don't know. 40 years, they said. 40 years? Yes. Why, you must have enlisted in Walford. No, as a matter of fact, it was San Diego. <laughs> what was that? Two bells, sir. Good. Ask them aboard. <laughs> it's time to stop sticking their tongues out. And while you're at it, get that telephone number. Tell me, That's Captain. known as nullifying two jokes. <laughs> Tell me, Captain Marksblower, didn't you ever get homesick in all your years on the water? Yes, Catherine, I did. There is still a little of the country boy left in me, and sometimes as I lay there on my bed, which was six feet wide, that's a lot of bunk. I would dream about our little old red barn. It's long filled with fragrant new-mown hay. Ah, how often have I dreamed of that hay and pitched and tossed all night. <laughs> shall we dance? Well, shall we have no music? What a thoughtless cat I am. For that, I should swing from the highest yard arm. Uh, pardon me, Captain, but why don't you swing down here to the music of the Les Paul Trio? Well, say... A little late getting on the boat. Stop, boys. Uh, Catherine, do you, do you know you dance divinely? Oh, thank you for the compliment, Groucho. I don't know where that line comes in here at all. <laughs> but listen, Groucho, I'd trade all my dancing for the adventures you must have had as a sailor. You ain't just whistling chickory chick. <laughs> I've had some pretty unbelievable adventures. That's yeah. you, Catherine. Yes, you did. Right here, huh? Was that your most exciting adventure, Groucho? Yes. I have quite a soothing effect on her. <laughs> Yes, Catherine, I shall never forget when I was shipwrecked off the island of Frim Frim with Chafalfer on the side. <laughs> it was a balmy tropical day, and I was at the wheel when suddenly I found myself gripped in the teeth of a gale. The waves mounted higher and higher, and the wind screamed through the rigging. 
Suddenly the island loomed up big. <laughs> Captain, Captain, there's an island dead ahead. They carry their own wind here. Huh? <laughs> Suddenly the island loomed up big before me. You're not going to cut that line out on me. <laughs> I say, Captain, there's an island dead ahead. Lieutenant, how many times have I told you not to bother me with trifles? Well, Captain, it's dead ahead. That's the trouble. There are too many dead heads around here. <laughs> Skipper, Skipper, we've just been tramp steamer. Nobody waits for their cues around. <laughs> I never been on a ship like this. Huh? <laughs> this is really a tramp steamer. Huh? You say you've been signaled by a tram steamer? Well, what do they want? A nickel for a cup of coffee. <laughs> Tell them I don't want any coffee, but give them the nickel anyhow. They may run into a schooner. <laughs> Egad, what was that? Captain, we just sprung a leak in the hull. The hull? The hull, you say? <laughs> Hadn't you better give the order to abandon ship, sir? Abandon ship, Mr. Christian? We shall never abandon ship. <laughs> What kind of a crew do I have? Are you men or mice? And take the cheese out of your mouth before you answer that. <laughs> yes, it was now apparent that we were in a tight spot. The storm was mounting and things were looking dark. Come to think of it, it was dark. Midnight and no moonshine. And brother, when it's... Please don't beat me to the joke, will you? I like to get a laugh occasionally here myself. <laughs> and, brother, when it's midnight and there's no moonshine, things are bound to be pretty dark. That's the joke. <laughs> Captain! Captain! The lookout in the crow's nest is trying to signal you. Well, tell him to stop treading water and swim on down here. 